Sliders are a great way to add interaction to your app. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to adjust the range of a custom slider. Note, if you know basic Java math functions, this will be a bit easier. Step 1. Adding elements. To begin, add a rectangle and oval to your canvas. Do not add a slider from the UI panel. With a normal slider, the range is somewhat limited. It's easier to adjust the range by creating our own slider. So add these elements from the UI panel and position them accordingly. For this example, the rectangle will be 440 by 20. The oval will be 131 by 131 and we'll click on draggable to enact drag. For drag axis, select horizontal. For bounds, select custom containment. Then 35 for vertical and 570 for horizontal. For the text, well, leave it blank. Step two, creating variables. Click on settings, then variables manager. Click add variable. For name, type slider underscore position. For type, select numeric. For value, leave blank. Finally, check evaluate. Follow the exact same steps and create another variable labeled drag underscore handle. Step three, adding an interaction to the oval. Click on the oval, then interactions, and select add interaction. For trigger, select on drag. Now if this option doesn't appear, the oval is not draggable. You'll need to repeat step one. For action, select variable. For variable name, select slider underscore position. For value type, select callback from value event. For callback value, select X position. And leave delay. Okay, let's recap. The purpose of this interaction is to calculate the position of the slider handle. When the oval is dragged, that is the trigger, a new variable, that is the action, is created. This new variable is slider underscore position, and it's based on the horizontal position of the oval, that is the X position. Hey, quick reminder, if you're finding this helpful, please give us a thumbs up. That would be incredible. All right, back to it. Step four, adding a callback. Check the callback button to create a callback. For action, select set variable. For variable name, select drag underscore handle. For value type, select custom value. For new value, enter the following Java. Now, without going into too much detail, this JavaScript is what creates the slider range which in this example is from 1 to 25. Now, if you're familiar with Java, you can adjust this. If you're unfamiliar with Java, you can read up on it or spend time adjusting this number until you arrive at your range. For example, changing this number to 23.10 changes the range to 1 to 20. Okay, let's recap again. The purpose of this callback is to set the variable, which is the action, of drag handle, which is the variable name. The variable is custom and it is based on the JavaScript that we just entered. Step 5, adding a second callback. Add a second callback. For action, select change property. For screen, select your current screen. For item, select the text we added earlier. For property, select text. For value type, select read from variable. For variable name, select drag underscore handle. And leave delay. Okay, one last recap. The purpose of this second callback is to change the property, that's the action, of the text, that's the item, to be a number which is based on the variable we created earlier, drag underscore handle. Step six, save the interaction. Save the project and let's preview. There we have it, the slider drags from one to 25. 
That means all the interactions and callbacks are working together perfectly.